I'm gonna go in and just go through it, dude. Did you calculate? I see that. Yeah. 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 So uh, you're in line for your midterm, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. And how long have you been waiting? Let me check. Oh, about an hour and seven minutes. Wow. Uh, yeah. And I'm still on. In my opinion of this line is um, not very good right now because, you know, we are given only a certain amount of time to sign up for these exams, quote unquote. But as you can see here, it's, um, you know, overload. So what we need to do is we need to have people that are just sort of, you know, balancing out the times and places for tests and whatnot. So, but all, all in all, it's crap. Did you try to uh, make a reservation? Mm -hmm. How long ago was that? Uh, about two weeks ago, a week and a half ago. Two yeah. weeks. Mm -hmm. And Wait. were they full then? Or? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pretty much. When did your teacher open up for you to sign up for the test? Uh, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. So pretty much from the get go. Yep. Can you spell your name? My name is Jacob Linderman, J-A-C-O-B-L-I-N-D-E-R-M-A-N, and I'm standing in a line, as I have been for the past hour, along with a hundred other people, waiting to take a test, the test exam. What class is that? Um, this is for psychology. All right. The sad thing is that uh, we couldn't have gotten appointments to take our test. We tried. I tried two weeks ago and got mine, and yet, because we trust computers so much, I still don't have an appointment, even though the schedule's on. So is, is this the first day you've been waiting in line to take your test? Mm -hmm. yep. How, why have you waited till today to, to get in line? I had to work all day yesterday, mm -hmm. and I have classes until 1.30, and I got here at 2. So, oh. yeah. is this the, uh, scheduling fell through then? Scheduling fell through. The computer says I do not have an appointment, and I schedule an appointment at 2 o'clock. Oh. Because if I schedule it at 2 o'clock every time, it means I always know my time and I know my day. So oh, so you know you scheduled it. it I know I scheduled it when I have it scheduled on my phone that I scheduled it. So I and it's on my lap, on my planner. So yeah. So now I'm stuck in line waiting with 100 other people waiting to take an exam that 40% of us will probably fail. <laughs> Makes us so happy. So is this your so. last day to take the exam? Huh? Is this the, your last day to take oh the yeah. exam? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm sure there's probably 50 other psychology 101 students right here, mm -hmm. and this is our last day, and we all have an hour and a half to take this exam before it closes. You think so. the teacher will extend it, possibly? <laughs> no. No? Why? She's, if you didn't get it done, if you didn't get it done ahead of time, well, you're out of luck. My name is Curtis Blevins, which is spelled C-U-R-T-I-S, last name Blevins, B-L-E-V-I-N-S. And I'm the testing lab supervisor. All right, so we have quite a big logjam of people here. Do you want to uh, kind of explain why you think that might be? Uh, mostly, we think it's from uh, a lot of people yesterday not making their appointments, which was approximately 150 people. Um, now, quite a few people out there are saying they tried to make a reservation two weeks ago, and it was already full. Well, they, they do fill up quickly, and most of the instructors do tell them to schedule early. Do you have a recommendation for like how far ahead of time you should really try and as, make that reservation? As far as you can. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so you guys shut down at 5. Does that mean anyone mid-test has to stop? Um, generally, that's what we do, is if you haven't completed your test by 5, then you submit it and go home. And do um, a student, yeah, so they have to submit it and they can't finish. Correct. Okay. Um, so I have a question. Um, students who may have, maybe they tried to sign up, because I talked to one student out there who said she tried to sign up two weeks ago, and I asked her, I said, well, when did your teacher open the test? And she said, well, two weeks ago. Um. And I said, okay, and I don't, I don't know, that. that's what she said. And I'm wondering if, if today was the last day for to take her test and she didn't get in there, and she wasn't one of the 150, you know, let's assume there's a student who's completely faultless here. Um, what would happen there, do you think? I mean, that's a student not taking their midterm. That's a big blow to the grade. 
Well, generally, the instructors that utilize the facility understand, you know, that sometimes there can be, you know, times when it's full or if the technology fails, and they generally will work with the uh, students if they communicate with them. So the instructors do have the option of extending that test. Yeah, they can, and we have extended a couple of them already. Okay. What what kind of classes uh, often have these tests, and what are the format for the tests? Um, probably the majority of the tests are multiple choice. Uh, we have a lot of um, hundred level courses. Usually that's uh, large classes. Like we have a, a Psych 101 class that has over 500 people in it. And they're actually the probably the biggest offenders. Oh yeah. <laughs> for uh, not making their um, what do you call it appointments? Well, maybe they can get together and figure out why. No. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, who knows why? I mean, then there was plenty of capacity yesterday, so I mean, they could have gotten in. Generally, the very few instructors just give one day. Most of them give two plus days. But the tendency is for them to wait to the last minute. Yeah. So. And these tests have to be taken here? Um, yes, there's, out at West Campus, there's a small, it's not really even a testing lab, it's just a computer lab, and uh, some students will take it out there with prior arrangements. Mm -hmm. And then um, there are other labs, um, like in, I think in uh, Mountain Home, but it all has to be done prior, you know, arranged prior to mm -hmm. the test. They can't just show up and go, can I have a test? <laughs> and Disability Resources also gives tests, but, you know, that's for people with uh, the need assistance. Okay. Is there a qu consequence for students who sign up for their appointment and then don't make it? Is there a way of, of punishing those students? It's up to the instructor. Okay. We're not in that loop. Not in that loop, okay. <laughs> Any other questions, Pat? Uh, I think that's it. Is there anything else you'd like to say before we shut off the equipment? Yeah, make your appointments early. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right.